sense. And that obviously, you know, we're going to have our fun over on Ancient as we get into it. And it's already just an absolute rush fest coming in from both sides. Apparently, Major going to be the first one to fall. Stare out in towards mid. Getting a lot of control. Looking for that A play. It's x Cloud though, on the USP. Just scrapping, fighting the jewelies of him more eventually. We'll finish off Zyphon. Goodness me, it has begun awfully quick here on Anubis. Refreshes somehow in behind. He missed the uh, the cavalry that was x Cloud. Goodness gracious. Going to get a bomb plan at the very least, but got two more to find to pick up this one versus three. Spotted out one and two probably there on streets. They're both pretty low. This is not out of the question for refresh. He's got to drop one fast. That's the big thing. Uh, and I think that might just have been his opportunity. Slipping away from him, it will be Eternal Fire opening up with the pistol. We, we've got a few. The, the B-bomb site especially got fleshed out at um, the World Finals. So we got Jail. Which is that little spot on the left as you come into B. I quite like that one. Um, and then Glyphs. That's sort of a... I think it's a Harry special, actually. There's this, but there's also Glyphs everywhere. like the hier Hieroglyphs, right? They are kind of everywhere, so I'm not really sure. Um, I've talked over this round. There's actually a decent chance that Sprout will be able to take it on the Force Buy, so I'll zone a back in for just a second. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of that on this map, though, as we just talk about how interesting, exciting, and new and fresh it is. Kalix, fresh to finish one, but couldn't get the second. And now Lonks on this MAC-10. more tap onto the bomb, smoke onto it as well. Panic from Lonks is all he needed. Is there going to be enough time for the defuse? I think just about. Yeah. So we'll see. That one uh, is still developing, I suppose. I know where we mean now when we say danger or rebox. X Cloud going to find the head of the first. Does get traded out by stairs. Zyphon coming in. The Molotov as well is a bit iffy for Immor to work around. He's here on the org, interestingly enough. Down to a one versus two. It was looking good, I thought, for the T side. Kalix, six HP on the USP. Spots out the shadow, thank goodness, and is able to find into canals. Kalix watching the angle. Top goes in, smokes keep him at bay. Ooh, however, they are distracted away by one player. Oh, that's in towards isn't it? that e-box area. Yep, and that's really well played. Again, I think equally from the canals and small bridges in kind of a danger area, and they can just go immediately. Right, it loads. We just have no idea, and well, pretty limited sample size as far, but they look like they know what they're doing. That was a great mid take. Look at this deep nade. Yeah, a deep utility uses. They clearly practice this pretty well and straight into this a split i think these aggressive players on the cd side are gonna be really ready for this and indeed they go down three on three bomb just needs to be recovered lounks and him are gonna cross in the night there you go lounks will find him in the end i got a bit weird for just a second are they ready for an orp it looks like they are and they're gonna be coming at him from two different angles rotation come through from x cloud first missed shot second does land he's instantly dealt with though and they've got control of this B-bomb site, just about able to get bomb down there in the nick of time. x Cloud gonna... And just a smoke, so it is gonna come down to gun fight. Crouching peak. Doesn't work. Kalix goes for the same, it works for him, and x Cloud to pick the head of Zello. Once again, defaulting towards that B side of things. Gonna go in for a fast first round. Quick one for one. Need this major boy to fall, and he will indeed. Four versus three. B-bomb site. Whoa, vulnerable. Thank God for Zello, otherwise Zyphon might have been a dead man. Bomb goes down, and with that, 4v2. Bounce on one, the danger side. Bring it up over the long side, and... Oh, it's looking pretty nice. There is a clap there. Only Obviously, Cobble, whatever. They, they've got callouts already set in stone. But uh, this is a brand new map, so... How does he get that kill? <laughs> I mean, instantly traded, and that's kind of par for the course. And look at X-Flowed. I mean, the smoke is down, but it's going to fade fairly soon, and... Longs is doing so much to cut off the rotate. X-Cloud on the left diagonal is never going to win that duel, especially against that many players, and this round has fallen apart. I mean, how to describe it? I think I think they've put... So mid-control feels really valuable. And if you it's, are just um, giving it away for a one-for-one, one, it kind of... handles itself in an official match. Easy kill. That's Major on the nice one, way. Major. Big Major on the double up. Oh, <laughs> flying Zantares. Um, okay. Yep, get that one. He clip. didn't need to do that. He did. I could have. But he did. I mean, <laughs> style points. <laughs> I'll give it to him. Why not? But um, very slowly in they come, but they are on their way. Molotov in towards that glyphs area. A couple easy kills. However, Xbox not going to be mollied out. He didn't quite reach 
Blounts will take him. Meanwhile, Zantares through the smoke tries to be the hero. Only enough for one. Does need to be very careful. Knife in hand. Yep. Unlucky. Stair going to take him down. Zantares going to go down. And it, it's hard. You can't point a single finger at Eternal Fire. They're just all not quite matching up. Calyxo, a nice solo find from him. Tag onto Stair as well. So going to be left low. But that mid control remains theirs. Nice. One two punch from Kalix and Immor to come through. It leaves Danger very vulnerable, however. Playing around this pillar. Kalix is going to try his best to shut them down, and he gets himself another Immor on the orb. Solid for one. Can he get two? Zello's creeping round. Oh, being given the ring around the rosy. Tagged through the smoke as well. USBs to finish it. Nine, two, six at the turn of the half. Not bad at all. Ooh, a push through A. Four of them, in fact. Immor getting into a sneaky spot. He's kind of ready for this. Going to find the first. Can he get any more, though? That's kind of the big question here. Massive headshot onto that second player. Means that they can activate. They've got all the info as well, so they're very quickly going to move towards this B-sided execute. Zello takes the head of Zantares. Okay, so there are kills coming back through, and of course we've got refreshing on the site. Only three frags to his name. Now would be the time to pop off, wouldn't it? Only gets one, though. Two versus two. Very, very doable. they got to be a little bit nervous of B-Long. And only one player going to pick Alex. Dello, awkward fight and can't get the kills. So, yeah, eternal fire. Common trend. No kits available makes a retake harder. I suppose we'll see what happens. Major leaving the charge on the Mac 10. Clean kill onto Stair. Should probably spell it. Refresh has dropped an AK. As they're being rotated on the smokes there, they might just consider saving this one. We'll see. Refresh has actually got a kit. Boost up above the smoke. Oh, spots a, a leg, an arm, and does find the head of Immor. Down goes Zyphon, and with that, they're going to move away. Okay. Maybe there was a window to uh, get a bit aggressive, but as we've seen so far here in Asia, especially during the first half, with the turn of the CD side is avenues, even willingness. Booty over here, mate. Big nade onto one. If they'd stack them on top of each other, could have been quite nice. No kills as yet coming in. There you go, Zyphon in for two. Flank from refresh. He gets caught with nade in hand. Maybe trying to flash Zyphon back in. I'm not quite sure. All the same. The timer's tick ticking away. And the flash from the T side is solid. Towards kind of the, the pillar area. The back plat. Part of that bomb site. Refresh. Jiggling here. Couple of teammates help. And that kill does a lot of work to alleviate pressure. Even so. Still trapped between a hot rock and a hard place. We've seen this a lot on this map. Is This bomb site so quickly going to get pinched. And there you go again. It's so difficult to hold on to it. Very close one. They're not going to have time Whoa, to get into the post plants, but there's the Zantara's peak that we all know and love. So fast with it. Plays so effectively online, and he will also find Zello coming alive. Uh, he's got a bit of a gap here. All the players have committed canals, and x Fowl is a dead man. He's an absolute dead man. Stair could have pushed a little bit further. That would have collected the bomb, but he's... That late smoke. That's going to put A out mm. of action. Surely there's no way you make it in in the next few moments. Major going to try with the bomb, the old fake out, but they just weren't biting, unfortunately. The cell on the A bomb mm. side was not very good. Eternal fire. They did have four towards A. They are going to commit behind this. Zyphon tucked in the back of the bomb. So that's a big kill, and now he can just wait for his teammates. Boost is nice as well. This is a great angle. I don't think Zantaris will be ready. That's a duel. Only Zantaris can win. That's amazing. Yep. That is, once again, the famous Zantaris peak. It does uh, allow them to get the bomb down, but the round itself is just not going to happen here. Kalix was maybe their last hope. 19 HP Zantaris. I do not see it happening. Neither does he. He's going to hightail it out of there and just me. Really need some help. Yep. Melting down. Back end of the side. So much fire everywhere. He's going to get aggressive, but he goes down to the Molotov. His smoke didn't quite put it out, perhaps, and that's going to cost them in a big, big way. Lonk's doing his best to get aggressive. There, meanwhile. He wants to creep in here. However... Oh, oh no. no! Makes a bit of sound. I think he was worried about that, so he felt like he had to go firing earlier. There, through the smoke. Doesn't know that Zantaris is right behind him already. A quick drop down canals and a quick B hit. Seems to be the order of the day. The bomb's already made its way through. Kalix just goes charging around. It's locked on the AWP. Who does not stop? Oh my goodness. Firing range comes in, but no. it's X Floud that finishes it. How have they not taken him down? X Floud with an incredible 1v3. It's going to be a very good 16 from Eternal Fire. The second half has been incredible the way that we look at it right is the fact that it's only two rounds for sprout on their ct and 
And it's only a matter of time until Eternal Fire come in and... Wow, Refresh needs the round of his life to hold on to this. Yeah, the return flashes are actually not too bad. He does manage to find one, but he's not sure where they're all coming from. They line up for him. So much damage done. Has to be the difference makers. And Tara's left on 6 HP. Kalix will get the bomb down in just a moment. Zello, meanwhile, charging through the smoke, trying to be the hero of the hour. Can't get the no scope off stare. Against 6 HPs and Tares, though, to make all the difference, there's hardly any time. Got to go for the hold, but Stair's not quite sure. Nerves get the better of him. Zantares, now's time for one of them peaks, my guy. It's not going to be easy for him, though, especially with it on the left eye from an angle like that. Stair, keeps I would assume so in some sense. Major, he finds a return frag, though. He finds a return frag. Refresh getting aggressive. He's going to get eyes on the bomb, eyes on him or in the back. Might get a little more than he bargained for. They do need to be careful. Kalix makes an awful lot of noise. Oh, weird little switch back from his pistol to his AK. Goodness me, this is a bloodbath right now. It's Kalix, though, who finds the double. Is that a smoke that's just gone down? Oh, it's a Molotov. Okay, so he still technically has the flank, and he has vision. He drops the bomb. 5 HP, though, going to be the difference here. Surely not, right? Bomb plant coming in. Nade will maybe finish off the AWPer. Not quite. They're both so low. Major's shadow spotted as well. He's not got a lot of ammo left in this A1S. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. And Major just gets the drop on him. 16 to 12. They will indeed secure that first map as cleanly, as easily. I think Zantaras needs to. I think he needs to. Under pressure. Oh, oh okay. my lord. That's illegal. That's not fair. Can't make it free, but Zantares. With no armor, takes 90 damage from it. Flashes no way. so effective. Look at that. Not a single player going to go down. They had no a kill way. We're, we're forced in quite slowly here. The flashes and I think a smoke as well. Not really going to get used from Sprouts and Tares. The back end of dice with a triple. This man is on one right now. Once and Stair will chime in, but they can't get through Immor fast enough. And he will mow them down. Four spy. Gets a bit more legit, doesn't it? Lonks going to go creep in. Oh, creeping he does. Look at this. He's underneath crosshairs. Brilliantly done. Major with the trade. Maybe it's Kalix. One of them surely has to come and get him before the backup arrives. And Major will take him down. So it's a nice kill in isolation, but... As much as it's a man advantage, Major needs to be a little bit careful. He can't die for nothing. Kalix. Oh... I find the frag, his partner Major on the site, though, unfortunately, does kind of go down a bit needlessly. Three on twos. Torres, what is that? Ridiculousness as he just goes flying in to distract them, and uh, they do get the bomb down. Serious experience behind them. It's been a few years since they've been at that level, but they were always the upset team back in the day, and they're looking to pull off another upset. Here and now, Kalix is the only one to have found a frag, though. The A-bomb site goes down What's pretty quickly. so fast. Antares on the flank. Not quite. Not He's maybe seen the barrel. What is going on? It's Zantares to come in. It's refreshed with the double, though, in the middle of it. It just all at once. And actually, it looks like just enough. So X-Fout has held on. And now the cavalry's here. So hold to follow. Major goes down. And X-Fout now is in a lot of trouble. Getting enveloped. Might find the first. But surely going to get swung for Bridge. Zantares just in time. Wow, the rotates do make it. Bomb is planted. But now Sprout a man down. How do they recover this? Yeah, and X-Flower's kind of crept in when the smoke goes down. Refresh is not considering him at all. Refresh just going to move away. Nearly gets the chance to fight one back. X-Flower should go down to the Molotov, one would assume. He just doesn't go down to that. Wow, immediately out of there and hold on to the bomb. Zello missing shots. Whoa, the knife is out. That's kind of cheeky. And a nice shot, I suppose, onto Zentara's <laughs> in. Uh, would be the correct side, at least for now. The bomb, ooh, shaping. Renee hit. Nice angle from him. Or going to drop one. He's able to get the AK and another Ooh. massive, massive stuff from him. Or does more damage to boot as well as he gets traded. Zantares then still on the A1S. Do an awful lot from here. Just have to be careful not to get ahead of themselves. I'm very curious. You know, Kalix obviously has only got the Deagle, but xCloud ecoing in this one rather than buying. Maybe it's not going to be needed. Major with the Deagle finishes off the load to refresh. Kalix is in behind, as is Zantares. So well played oh, on no. the uh, macro gameplay. Zantara is going to get the double. No cash in reserve. Boost comes in now. I think x is holding it, isn't he? Flashbang is there. Oh, and they turn. They turn. Beautiful kills. Great flashbang. Nice little one-two. Very slow indeed. Xiphon. 
Fine. Oh, the end. The business end of Zuntaris's AK. Goodness me. This guy oh is just unstoppable. Gonna pin him to that back wall. We'll see what Zello's got in the 1v3, but you don't really fancy his chances here. There is no kit. There is no utility. They are somewhat stacked on top, but that just means he's got too many targets to choose from. Oh, he's going to push Zuntaris out, and he goes down. So he is mortal, by the way. He does uh, take damage. Immortal's not found anything either. Time to go for a save, and Lonks is already on Ooh, it. This is, this is massive. Their money is really not good here, folks. Pretty solidly. The rest of the squad's on the way, though, so this is going to be difficult. At least they're all coming from the same angle. Flash ineffective major. Oh, my goodness. Going to get all three. Lovely. And it's huge. It is huge, because that gives him more cash to potentially, you know, I don't know. With a smoke and a flash, they've just thrown a couple smokes down there, I suppose, is what I mean. Oh, looking across. That is unfortunate. Immor going to get the tag, but not the bag. Zello, meanwhile, watching the backside. Should be able to find two here. He plays the cards right. Exactly what's going to happen for him. Stair picks up Calix. All the kills come in at the same second. So, uh, shout out to the Observer for trying to catch everything, but very risky. Going to keep a player out in towards ABC. The quick... Quick smokes do land, though. That's really effective nade usage coming in from the T side. The bomb going to get dropped in a very awkward spot. Thank God for the kills. 20 seconds. If one of those players survived a little longer than necessary, it could have been over. Not going to be... Zello has Major trapped. The B side looks pretty tasty. Oh, lands the flick into the head of x -Cloud. Ridiculous stuff from Zello. He's going to get flashed off the angle, and the rest of the team will move in. Off the back of it, he's being kept at bay, unfortunately, the AWPer, so it's a little bit weird. 30 seconds, and it's all a fake out. You can see on your minimap once again how deep players are making it in towards A, but Imor is able to stop them. He wants to drop back. He's unsure, but the bomb is still committing in. Surely a call's got really? to come in here. Call's got to come in here. Uh, surely somebody's telling him they're not. They're, it can't yeah, be. Yeah, I think that's it. it can't oh, be my me. goodness. Siphon, those already up long. It doesn't matter, Alan. The decision already been made for him. He was not going to see the light of day on this one. Siphon deep in towards Banks and Tarez. Dink for dink. Can't get it done. And that's the 8 7 as Zello chimes in. And given where Eternal Fire are going, they're walking right into the lion's den. Yep. Yep. Oh, the crossfire. They are somewhat ready for it, but the USPs just mow them down. Oh my goodness. Not a single iota of a chance. Look at the damage. Well, it looks that way. Contact flashes to start, though. The damage done, not quite the frag coming in. Here they come. Zantares will trade out Siphon, but that's the only one so far. x Cloud sending all these nades in. Needs to try and creep his way in. He wants to go for a bomb plant, I think, in all the carnage. Be fresh. Dealt with Zantares on an A1S. How many more can he get? Apparently not. He runs out of ammo. His teammate will leave him in the dust. Gets lucky. Even that is a lot to ask. <laughs> never say never, honestly. <laughs> for God's sake, this guy... He's made noise now as well in 10 seconds. Kind of needs to die before time ends, and he will. Zello's MP9. Nice little upgrade there. It's it's good damage. Like a headshot, or I don't think in a million years the Tone of Fire is getting into this bomb site. Well, we'll see. Nice Molly comes in, though, on to refresh. Major in the smoke. Kalik's going to take out Lounge. Oh, Not like this. No. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. All of them chiming in. Thank God they kept the previous round clean. They're going to try and, you know, keep the players alive here. Siphon is just so very blind. No support behind the smoke. That's been read. That's been heard. Stare comes in for a double. Massively so. Uh-oh. This is getting problematic. Only two players remain. Siphon is very, very, very low. Hidden away down below. Underneath the sights. Ah, and Zello goes Ooh. down. That is a big frag from Calix. Major going to... Start to seal the deal here. Lance oh, has no oh info and no idea where to go. And yet another round goes... Nadaris is, is absolutely carrying the, you know, insert swear word out of them. <laughs> he is so hard. Going so hard. And he can't find this kill. He can't find this kill. x Cloud called upon. That's a ripper of a headshot. Bomb now being hauled in. It's a little bit late. There is nades on Emor. Maybe he can get a smoke into heaven. That'd be perfect. And it, oh my god. Not needed. Wow. Help has arrived in the shape of x Floud. Zello going to give it a go. Oh, not going to happen. Him all through the smoke. The lineup takes him down. Yeah. 11 all the way back. Refresh tugs in behind the sandbags. Really struggling to get a good fight. Zyphon does get one. We need some nades on towards short. 
Because now teammates in attendance, that's Stair. Refreshes the deck. But now Stair pounces, gets one. And this is starting to look really awkward. And check out the flank from Lorks. Wow, they're absolutely sandwiched on this bomber site. Yep, Nade as well could finish off one of the players here. Not placed well enough, but continues the damage to come through. Zantara's and Major just eating bullets. Zantara's goes down to a banger, in fact. Major's going to have to do it all. Zello keeps on fragging. And, well, he's going to find Major in the smoke. He took a bit of team damage, even, I think. And they get an info towards Long. As these smokes come over, the flash is going to have to be super effective. Zello's, yep, good for one. Way too easy. Way too easy. The return flashes to come back through as well. Gives Stair maybe an opportunity, but it's all Zello right now. That's all they need it to be. Longs and Stair get involved in the action, but the 14th comes. Nice. Ah, he only gets the one, though. Is that going to be enough? A lot of info in. It's down to Longs. Double spray down. He wants to end the game here, and now that's going to be the bomb hitting the deck as well. Four on two. All too easy. Major with a contact in the smoke. He decides to go through it. And Typhon's just way too ready for him. x Floud, the only one that remains to keep them in the game. He would say surely not a chance as he gets spun down to 29 HP. Finished off by Lanx. And that is going to be all she wrote for it, folks. The third map will indeed be required. Down mid. Nothing too flashy around it. But just, uh, you know, hearkening for a bit of info. Kalix, meanwhile, with the contact flashes... Gonna find one. Imor goes bouncing in, ready for that angle. Like his life depended on it. There with the us. Oh, he stays alive, but he's not able to find anything off the back. Typhon, meanwhile. Oh, but sure. Moving through. Looking good. He's only able to get one, however, stare. One versus two. Easily able to mow through. He has to get two perfect headshots. He's now given his position away as well. And that's not so good. Nice find coming in. X Cloud will manage to take down Stair. And that's fine here. Fall into that lower bracket, and there's a murderous row of teams. Get it done in the here and now. Zello taking jewels. First kill found. Oh, I'm nervous already. Sprout. Surely they're seeking out the reset here. Looking that way. Lanx at the back end of the site. Yes, Kalix does get a kill, but it costs him a lot of HP, and Lanx is just going to give them all this room to try and get a sneaky one. x Cloud spotted him. Flash comes in, needs to finish him off, and will do so indeed, but x Cloud got a kill. Kalix gets the trade. Oh, not if Imor's involved, though. He's going to find the 2k nice and easy. Flash, though, Zyphon decides to smoke. Didn't quite dissipate time. The flash was a bit early. Oh, he's going to get mollied out as well. Smoke goes down to him to try and help his teammate out. Refresh only good for one. Zyphon down below goes completely overlooked. Are you kidding? There's a smoke there. That's so weird to me. Maybe Lance is just doing his job perfectly at distracting the players away. Nonetheless, it's Major who finds himself alone. Does get across short, but with that bomb drop Tetris. I mean, he might get one killer on to stare, but... Maybe he should just save. Doesn't feel doable. Zello's going to find the frag. I think what happened was, by the way, that I think Refresh died near enough. And the numbers are live. Look at Zello. Top spawn. Peaking Palace. x Cloud is going to get a fight. Peeking around the pillar. He can't connect. x Cloud. Massive entry. And they're going to commit onto A behind it. They certainly are. Alex. Looking good. Finds two. One through the smoke and one on the crack angle as well. Ooh. I'm kidding, Kalix has had a hell of a round. Stair going to be left on 5 HP and dealt with. So there you wow. go, Eternal Fire immediately back on the board with something a bit faster. Solid find coming in from Stair. x Cloud. mean, why you're a little bit confused of where to go now that the kill he was after has been taken. He will find Longs. This is so fast and aggressive from Eternal Fire. Trade is there from Refresh, though. Three versus three. And a flank from Zantares. Means it's short-lived. No, a fluffy spray down coming in from Kalix towards short means it's all on Zantares to find two. He's got the first. Nade on top of the bomb makes the second a little bit easier, but it's still an orb that he's got to get past. Zantares knows surely a fake out. Surely he's not calling the bluff this early on, and Zantares will make it out, but Zello catches him just as the smoke goes down. Huge frag. Top. Nice pickup coming in from Lounge. Any assistance here from Stair? Yes, there will be. But for one, they maybe need a little bit more out of this, and there's Lance going to get that bit more. Three versus two ensues. The bomb has dropped in such an 
Major, the first line. Actually, it's going to be Zentara as the first line of defense. He gets traded instantly to Major to find two. He's got info on one. Not quite sure of the second, I would imagine. And refresh gets the better of him. Defuse will come in. Is there enough time? Maybe once again becomes stuck for ideas. Smoke over the top. Quick Molotov, quick flashes, but they're not quick enough. Zello is in such a great spot and just making mince meat out of them. Launch, can he chime in? No, he can't, but Zello's still alive at the back end of bench. It's too much. It's too much. Kalix and Imor against four. Surely not. <laughs> and Zello just keeps going. He's on for the ace. He's had to reload. If he dies to a wall bang, I will have a meltdown. Wow, Stare is becoming the ultimate insurance policy here. He's going to choose to peek mid. He's going to flank in that direction as well. And Zyphon makes it all the easier. He's going to get mid out of ramp, but they don't know about the flank. They don't know about the flank. Stare connects, collects Antares, and now this is just impossible. Two remaining, and how do you even get a bomb plant here? It's so difficult. They have to kill Refresh to make this doable. You managed to take him down there, Alan, so the bomb's going to get planted. Two versus two. No way. Oh my goodness. Kalix keeps on fragging. They're just going to steal another round on the Eternal Fireside unless Laux has got something to say about it. Nice find onto x Cloud. Swaps across to an AK here. He does have... Will he catch Kalix? I think he's got space. Oh, this could really work in his favor. He might not think it's it's playable right now. Uh-oh. Kalix is kind of guessing wrong, though. Going to find the angle around the corner. Does get him in the end. Laux will fall. And Eternal... Nice pickup coming in from Imor. They were waiting for that one for a while. They're going to burst Ooh. off the back of it as well as he finds two. Refresh, meanwhile. Trades out, but is that really enough? They've got the A control so very fast here. Catching Zello completely with his pants down. Eternal Fire Speed, the name wow. of the game. Imor and Kalix just taking those names. So easy. Stare. Quiet game from him. Uncharacteristic quiet game. Emo's not had, had, had the best map. He's not had the best map. It still kind of feels like the Zantara show. Kalex is doing well as well, but... Uh... Zello tries his best, but he's only got an MP9. Not really effective enough at this range. Down goes Zyphon. Stair smokes off the main attack. They're going to go for him still, though, on this scout. It's an awkward, cumbersome weapon at that kind of range. The MP9's a little better, but Emo's aim is too damn good. Zello has no idea where he is. Tenth coming in, and it looks like Sprout are fully flustered here. On Mirage, down goes the final CT of their half. First port call, of course, it's going to be Zantares. They've got to deal with him and then Major, the two experienced stalwarts of this team. Major looking good, Zantares is going to lose his head. Staring Zyphon on the P250, he's running rampant right now, and it is the very basic open <laughs> execute. The uh, right eye left dual Beretta finding Stair's head. Three versus three. There is no kit available. Great flash comes out and Kalix is activated. Takes a bit of time, but he will find two. And surely that's got to be enough. P250 hero. Now as Iphone is up against the world, it's going to have to take miracle shots. Probably needs to kill x Cloud immediately in there. And now this place all around. Doesn't know where to look. 11 rounds and no bomb plant. I don't think they're going to check anymore. In a million years. Nope. Nope. How many does he get? How many does he get? Only one, unfortunately. But maybe it's enough chaos that's been screwed. Kalix going to win out two fights there. Two versus two, therefore. So it's been brought back even. And I think he knows that there's got to be one on the other side of this smoke. Kalix with a huge round for Eternal Fire. Stare going for the quick reposition. It's his only hope. I don't think that he's here. Molotov goes down towards ramp. Is planted for him. He gets a fight against one early. Kalix is there for the trade. Is there enough time for the defuse? He's get on not it, quite on the bomb. This is going to be close. I think he's got it. On this AWP, it's going to be so difficult. They head his direction. They barely... I mean, they've got no flashes anymore to push him back. And that is... That is the worst thing ever for Sprout. They can't believe they just died to that spray. Ooh, Kalix. Awkward little fight. Zyphon going to take down Imo, though, with the uh, the spam. This is looking good for Eternal Fire once again, but Zyphon's got other ideas. Two quick headshots. Mm. And with the HP bars as well. It's all good. Kalix is Big really kill. coming alive these past couple of rounds. Look at it. He's 23 and 6. I yeah, he's at a monster that. map. Kalix is really, really, really hitting it hot. He's giving <laughs> Zantara's a run for his money. Major, meanwhile, great line here. Finds the first bomb. Not going to get planted. Wow, a clinic. An absolute clinic. I feel like it's going to be B. 
But as we can see, the bomb is heading in towards connected. This looks like the wrong stack and a lot of pressure now on these eight players. A lot of pressure. Longs is going to make sure that it goes to boiling point over the top. So save. there is just two remaining. Save, and, yep, a save would be the move. Got to give the full respect here. You never know how it might pan out. Major, though, yeah. is still looking. It just can't be, you know, absolutely enormous ones. Major's going to peak. Does find one kill, but swiftly traded. And that's six for Sprouts. So uh, at the end of the... Uh, the apartment here, X-Cloud, right down the end. I think this is over, Scriv. This is going to be so hard to clear the setup. Yep, not looking good. Down goes another X-Cloud. Oh, loses his head to a no-scope at that range, but it's flashy. Unfortunately, it's not really worth too much. Zello with 27 HP and a dream. Only 20 seconds to do it in, by the way. He does have the bomb, but... It's just so tough and down he will go. Eternal fire. Although a 16-7 to close it, I mean, there's nothing that you've got to take away from that.